Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel, Dalaska. Today, I'll be sharing with you how I make my two kittens raw food. As a disclaimer, this is not my recipe. I'm borrowing Feline's Nutrition's recipe, but I made a few alters for my own needs. The meats that you'll need for this recipe include chicken gizzard. This is optional, but I like to use it because it provides more variety. Chicken thigh or chicken leg, and I use boneless because it's easier. Chicken heart, this one's also optional but it provides your cat with a lot more taurine and amino acids. And last but not least, you'll need chicken liver. The items that you'll need to make this recipe include a digital kitchen scale, a meat grinding attachment, a blade or a disc to grind your meat with, as well as the kitchen aid stand mixer or any type of meat grinder. The supplements that you'll need are four capsules of fish oil, one capsule of the vitamin E D alpha gel, two capsules of vitamin B, and two capsules of taurine powder, as well as 4.2 grams of salt, four teaspoons of fissilium husk powder, this one's optional but it provides good fiber, and homemade eggshell powder. Now you'll need your kitchen scale. First, weigh out seven ounces of chicken liver and then 14 ounces of chicken heart. This one is optional, but I highly recommend that you don't substitute it. 10 ounces of chicken gizzard, which can be substituted for chicken thigh, and then 38 ounces of chicken thigh. Make sure you weigh out eight ounces of water and not eight fluid ounces. The first thing that I like to do is cut up my chicken thigh into big chunks so that it can fit comfortably into the grinder. Next, take about a quarter of your chicken thighs and slice that into small chunks and set aside for later. Cut all your chicken gizzards into small bite-sized chunks. Chicken gizzards are super rubbery, so it's great for a cat's dental health. What you'll want to do is add in all your slices of chicken thigh, chicken liver, and chicken heart into the grinder, as well as your fish oil capsules. Keep altering between the different types of meat so that your final product is a bit more even and easier to stir around. Moving on to the eggs, you want to crack and separate the egg yolk from the egg white. Leave as less egg white around the egg as possible because egg white has a compound called avidin in it that doesn't allow your cat to absorb vitamin B. Take your taurine and vitamin B capsules and gently pull them apart and dump the powder into your egg mixture. Since I'm using a gel vitamin E and not a powder, I have to cut it open and squeeze it inside. Mix your egg mixture, your salt, water, psyllium husk powder, and eggshell powder in with your meat and combine that until it's even. Once everything is well incorporated, add in your small chunks of gizzard and your thigh into the ground meat. I find that the easiest way to store the meat is to put it in an ice cream maker or a baking sheet and once it's frozen to cut it up into cubes and put it in a Ziploc bag. I'll weigh out the right amount of food the day before and then put it in a container and throw that into the fridge to thaw.